The final and most technically complex phase of the seismic process is the geophysical recording. Technical experts were on hand to explain how all the phases of the operation now come together. Some final process data was also available for review. The experts had examples of the seismic receivers, called geophones, and described how they are constructed to measure the very small signals transmitted through the Earth by the various seismic sources. Students then participated in a group exercise in which they interpreted some processed seismic data, just like a real geophysicist. So gas is going to be top, we've got oil and water. What's going to be next? Oil, exactly. And then at the bottom is water. So if we have a reservoir rock, that's a rock that's got four spaces in it. And if that reservoir rock is in a structure, like a bump, like, a, like an anticline, what might be at the top of it if it's trapped? Gas. Yeah, natural gas would be in the top of it. A state-of-the-art recording truck, which collects all the seismic data, was available for students to observe. Throughout the day, students asked many questions about a career in the seismic field, as well as other opportunities in the oil and gas industry. I went to university right out of high school myself, and I worked seismic during the summers, which helped me to go through school. It allowed me to work all summer long really hard and make enough money so that when September came, I didn't have to work two or three jobs. What my job is, is I'm the Human Resources and Health and Safety Environment Coordinator for that. The CAGC had representatives and take-home information pamphlets on hand for interested students. Using the steep river valley within the area, trained experts demonstrated rescue techniques used in difficult to access areas. Students were treated to a full long line helicopter rescue and a simulated cliff rescue, where they were able to assist in bringing the rescued victim across the river. Students were shown the equipment used in helicopter long line rescues. This guy would come up. And so, Steve did it? Yeah. So, I would be in my harness, Steve would be attached to me, and away we go. He'd get his, his wings for the day. And they received a tour of the aircraft by the pilot. And uh, does anybody know what the terror order is for? Yes. Sometimes, like a. For many students, this presented a great opportunity to sit in an actual helicopter. How do you guys like this to be your ride to work every day? Wow, that'd be so cool. I don't want to get off. I want to stay here. The students learned how helicopters are used to deploy the geophysical equipment around seismic programs. The helicopter crews also demonstrated some of the modern equipment developed by the geophysical industry to reduce impact, increase production, and improve safety. As a final demonstration, explosive charges were detonated just as they would be during a normal seismic recording operation. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Students felt the vibrations that the geophones actually pick up from the detonation, bringing the knowledge that they had gathered throughout the day into perspective. I'm so excited. <laughs>
The Seismic in Motion Field Trip is a rewarding and educational program for students at the secondary and post-secondary levels. I think it's really exciting. It makes you really want to consider it for your The technical experts enjoyed sharing this real-world career experience, which is generally a rare but very valuable commodity. What do you think of the event? It's cool. What was your favorite part? Where the ground exploded. The Canadian Association of Geophysical Contractors, in partnership with the Canadian Society of Exploration Geophysicists and Canadian Association of Petroleum Producers, are proud to facilitate such programs. They will continue to demonstrate potential career opportunities and help educate our youth about Western Canada's highly dynamic seismic industry. I think the demonstration was definitely the best because you got yeah, to see exactly what was happening. There's so many to choose from. No, it's going to be the explosions at the end. Oh. Time. <laughs> this one's better than that one. It has more things than that one. Awesome. I love them dusting the Corona bottle. That was awesome. I love the bottle. That was so cool. <laughs>